As a pilot in the Air Force, or really a pilot anywhere actually, there are periodic evaluations that have to be accomplished to ensure your skills in the airplane and the knowledge of the flight rules are up to snuff. If, you, if you've ever flown in an airplane, then I'm sure you would agree that it's important to make sure that those who are actually flying know what they're doing. It's not like they can pull over and take a look under the hood, right? So this periodic evaluation, it's called a check ride, and it's a way for your evaluator, the individual that's grading your performance, it's a way for them to check your ability. And as someone who's taken a number of check rides and administered a number of check rides to others as an evaluator, I can tell you that the person being evaluated is always looking for or striving for that, that perfect flight. The flight when everything comes together and you fly your flight profile flawlessly. But I'll also tell you that that seldom happens, at least for me. Frankly, it's not difficult to do very well on the check ride, but it is difficult to be perfect. I mean, there are so many variables, so many things that you can't predict. Other aircraft, air traffic control, the winds, the weather, how the aircraft is going to perform, engine or maintenance issues. I mean, you name it, right? But here's what I know, again, as both a student and a grader. And that is that when that minor misstep or mistake occurs in flight, the number one quality, the number one characteristic that you can demonstrate as a pilot in that case is to move on quickly. If you perform a procedure incorrectly, there is no time to dwell on it in the airplane. You've got to get over it and talk about it later on the ground because you can't afford to be to be distracted by mistakes while you're still flying the airplane. So why do I tell you all of this? Well, Mistakes happen in the airplane, in life, and certainly in our efforts and attempts at, at, at better health and fitness. And when they do, you've got a couple of choices. You can let it get to you, or you can get over it relatively quickly and move on. So my advice to you is to learn from it and move on. The past does not define you. Oftentimes, you can't move forward until you let the past go.